Hi, this is Simon Haler from the Oracle Linux product team. Today, we're going to provide a very short and quick high level demo uh, of Oracle Linux Automation Manager. So this demo is really focused or primarily uh, aimed at uh, IT administrators who would maybe have to um, do this sort of thing. So, you know, and, and here what we're going to be teaching you to do or showing you how to do is to how to run a playbook uh, via a template um, and check the results. And so to actually be able to do this, um, you need to have Oracle Linux Automation Manager installed uh, on, on a server, on an Oracle Linux 8 server, and have some target hosts uh, which you can actually run the playbooks on. And so what we're going to show today is the Oracle Linux Automation Manager dashboard, how to use templates, some recent job runs, projects and playbooks, inventories, credentials, and finally, we're going to show running a, a template with the playbook, uh, which will install HTTP and configure a firewall on multiple servers, and finally check the results. So we're logged in to Oracle Linux Automation Manager as user Simon H, and my particular user is an administrator, so I can more or less do anything. Now, we can provide different types of users who have less privilege or who have actually certain privilege to do run certain tasks. Um, and they can also be part of teams, and those particular teams can be part of organizations. And the idea of that is they can kind of share resources and share uh, templates and projects and that kind of thing. So when we do firstly log in, we actually see the dashboard. Uh, the dashboard gives us a kind of an overall view of what we have. So for example, there's a link to the amount of hosts I've got, the inventories, uh, projects, and also a nice uh, graph-based uh, job status, which tells me how many jobs have been successful, how many have failed um, on certain days, which is really useful. And you can also uh, use a different cadence for this, so you can actually different period there so, to look at different uh, time spans. They also tell us what the most recently used templates was, so we can see here. And we can also jump straight to those particular templates and run them, and also whichever jobs have been run um, recently. So. With respect to uh, using the actual system, um, first of all, we really need to set up what we call a project. Now, projects are, are kind of an, an area uh, where you store your playbooks. So for example, here we've got the demo uh, local repository. Now, as part of the product, we provide two um, playbooks, one to do a yum update and one to install HTTPD and configure a firewall. And so that's a manual um, project. Uh, so it's, it's part of the, the local file system. So you may actually have a, a, a Git-based repository. If you're actually you're not new to AWX, or Oracle Linux Automation Manager, you may actually have a Git repository with playbooks that you're already currently using. And you can reuse those um, as, as part of that. And Or if you want to, if you want to keep things local, then you can create another uh, manual local repository, which I've done here uh, under Simon H, which any um, playbooks that I create myself and then want to run, I can keep them there. Inventories are where we can have logical containers for our target hosts. Here I've got these done by Oracle Linux version, so OL6, 7, uh, and 8. Credentials are where we store things like SSH credentials for the hosts, and if you've got a Git repository you want to get uh, access to, uh, then you can store them in there. And the most important part is actually the templates. Now templates are where we actually create a, a workflow uh, to run a job, uh, and that particular job could be to a specific inventory, um, or it could actually ask you if, if you want to choose an inventory, um, and, and we can run them quickly from here as well. Also, we've got the ability, if you see here, we've got schedules here. So a schedule is where you can actually put a job in there to be reoccurring, you know, a scheduled job. And, and for example, I've got one which does a, a yum update, uh, and if necessary, it would actually reboot the host as well. So that's really useful. So you can have a, a kind of regular schedule um, to actually uh, run your um, your template or your job. So let's have a look at uh, a job here. Uh, so we can see here, so these particular little boxes uh, let us know how many uh, times this has been run and if it's successful or not. So green is successful, red is unsuccessful. And so let's, um, let, let's pick this one. So we'll get our launcher. So we click on that. And what it then asks to, it says, where do you want to run it again? So we're going to install HTTP and configure a firewall. So I'm going to choose my OL8 uh, inventory. So we click next. We don't get, we're not going to put any extra variables in. So it's a playbook run. And so we're going to launch the particular job. 
Now, Oracle Linux Automation Manager now puts this puts this stuff together. We know where we are actually going to run it, and then the engine will go out and actually uh, run the job itself. So we can see it's running. It's not finished, um, and uh, the local inventory, and we can now start to see some results here. So I've actually run this job previously. Um, and so uh, one of the lovely things about or the, the great features of, of, of the product is it, we, we provide item potency. What that means is, is I, I can run playbooks, or a, a playbook on a set of uh, in, an inventory of hosts. And if that playbook has already been run and it's, uh, there's, there's hosts in there that actually are successfully configured, none of the configuration will change. So it will still end up in the desired state we want. So for here, for example, we're doing four things, four tasks. So we're installing the packages and we can see here our three hosts, they've already got the packages installed. They've already got HTTPD running. The port is already open, but the change is, is a part of the actual tasks is we, we restart the firewall anyway. So we can see in green, everything's okay. Um, and the only thing that's actually changed um, is the actual firewall D service has been restarted. And we can see in here our, let's say the job that's been recently run, uh, which is, uh, is the one we just now. So that's a very quick high level view of Oracle Linux Automation Manager.